I can do a lot of things online, most of them through my phone. Yes. Why can't I vote online on November 4th? Well, you know, we have some great universities in Michigan, and um, a lot of uh, people got together at University of Michigan to watch a demonstration in Washington, D.C. for online voting. They were told this is absolutely secure. No one can breach it. No one will get into it. And I think that made it even more interesting for them. What they ended up doing, the students at U of M, is changing the vote totals and playing their fight song over the election machines. So we know that we're not ready for electronic voting right now. It's not secure. Simply, we don't know that we can protect the integrity of the vote. In the uh, University of Michigan um, test that you uh, witnessed, um, was that the end of the discussion about future voting online, or are you going to remain involved in discussions about what's possible yeah, I mean, as, as security online, and that's an issue with the store fraud, and if, you know, there's a lot of headlines about the, the leak of personal information and, and things like that. But um, do you foresee a day when people will be able to vote through online means? Technology changes so much, so we do continue to monitor it, but it would have to be proven to be secure. Uh, lending institutions build a lot of money into knowing that they are going to be cheated, it is going to be abused, it is going to be hacked into somehow. We can't do that for democracy. Every vote counts. We have elections that are won by less than a handful of votes all over the state every time we have one. So I think it's so important to make sure we have integrity in our elections. So we'll continue to monitor it, but I don't think we're uh, really at any point right now where you would be able to vote online and know that you have that integrity, that you know your vote counts, that you won't be disenfranchised because somebody else votes that shouldn't have. And we want to also encourage as many people as we can to register and our staff did take number one, we just got the news two weeks ago, in the nation for getting people registered to vote at our offices.